my old and, and new friends, mm -hmm. so I'm happy to be in your company. Well, I, I didn't expect to, um, to address you today, but Jesse is so moving that I, I was willing to stand up and say, please let's support Jesse so that he can do what he needs to right. do for us. We, we are in dire need of a movement. Mm -hmm. I've been working yeah. within the New York um, State Court system for 28 years now, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of holes in the legislation. Mm -hmm. You can have people there who are willing to, to ensure that, that um, there's equal justice and due process for all of us, but if the legislation doesn't give us the authority to push the envelope, we can't. Mm -hmm. So hold, hold your, your elected judges accountable, but also hold your elected other elected judge. officials accountable too. Get in their ears. Mm -hmm. Let them know what you want. Let them know what we need. Just push the envelope. A movement is critically necessary to make sure that we can preserve our homes, right. make sure that our, our tenants are, are duly protected. Right. We have a new um, 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 Tenant Protection Act that's been passed by the New York State Legislature, but there are some, some issues there even um, that, that need to be addressed. For instance, um, any tenant who's in distress can now get an extension um, if, if they're facing eviction. They can save themselves any time up to the um, time that the warrant of eviction is, is um, going to be executed in a, in a non-payment proceeding by, by making a payment. You can make that payment in a non-payment arrear situation up until the last minute. And if you can't, you can go back into court and, and say to the judge, and the judge now has the authority under the new law to give people who have extenuating circumstances up to a year to stay in place. And the judge also has the authority to perhaps um, say, you don't have to pay rent for up to a year. Now, that's, that's important for people who are struggling, people who are ill, people who have children, people who need to be... Um, close to their workplaces so that they're not put into further jeopardy. Uh, that said, I've been hearing from landlords of small buildings, of, of two family homes, three family homes who rely on the income to pay the rent, I mean to pay the mortgage. So if you're not getting rental income for a year and you're a small homeowner, now you're in jeopardy of losing your home as well. Right. Yeah. So I, I, it's my suspicion that the legislature did not take the small land, um, homeowners into account. So in my estimation, that's a hole that needs to be needs to be filled. So if that's something that you're concerned about, pick up the phone, write a letter, um, keep keep those bugs in Jesse's ear, and and he'll he'll fight that fight. And I'm, I'm here to, um, to join you in, um, in, in any fight that you have. Our homes are, are essential. If we don't have stability in our, our homes, our families are, are in disarray. And so I'm, I'm, I'm also an advocate for um, foreclosure prevention. I can give anyone all of my knowledge and information on that front if you're in jeopardy or a family or friend is in jeopardy of losing their home, let them know that they have to be in communication with the bank. If you get served with a, a petition, don't put it in the drawer and forget about it. Please, go to court, file an answer. The courts cannot help you unless you file an answer. So there, there are laws on the books to make sure that your due process rights are protected. But again, there are still holes in the legislation. Homeowners who are facing foreclosure.